Let's take a look at how arrays are passed to functions. So in this program, I'm going to pass an array to a function that will iterate through the array and add one to each element. And I have a variable or a constant size here, which contains four. And then when I initialize my array, it initializes it to these four values. And then I'm gonna pass the array and um, a size. And you can see that a copy was not made. I didn't have to explicitly put the little ampersand there, right, to pass by reference, but it's actually passing a pointer, and a pointer is just an address. So it's passing a reference to this array up in main. Because when you pass arrays around, from, to function to function, you don't want to make a copy because arrays can be pretty big and that would make you know take a lot of memory. So we just are going to pass um, a reference or a pointer, they're called, to that array. And then size contains four. And then I will iterate through. So the first time it says add one. So now it has a four in there. And then add one. So it changed it to five. Add one, negative six, add one, 23, and then we hop out and we're done. Okay, some functions, you don't want the function to have edit access or have access to that array, right? And so you can use the constant keyword and just put constant up here. And this will not compile because when you pass an array by and you mark it as a constant, the function will not be allowed to update it. So if I tried to visualize this animation, it's going to tell me you can't do that because this function is trying to update that memory location. So you might use this on your print array function so that it's just passed um, you know, as a constant, and it's, it will not be allowed to be updated within the function.